So neuroplasticity is the ability <coughs> of the brain to change according to how you use it. So a good example that uh, I read in a book a few days ago is when you think of handwriting, there's something quite interesting about this. Is, for example, take the letter A. No matter who's write, written the letter A, good handwriting, bad handwriting, you always recognize it, don't you? Mm -hmm. Because actually what your brain does, and the brain does this with absolutely everything, whenever you face a new situation, so the first time you see the letter A, your brain will create a set of neural connections, so two neurons will connect together. Now the next time you see the letter A, the same connection <coughs> will be fired until the connection is solid enough that you actually remember the letter A, which means every time you see the letter A, your brain will fire this connection. Now what happens when you see handwriting? Your brain will fire a similar connection, not the same, a similar connection. If you see another handwriting, another similar connection. But your brain, in order to make sense of the world around us, otherwise we would be insane, your brain is looking for similarities in order to understand what's going on. So the brain will find similarities, will generalize your experience to actually make sense and put labels on your experience so you don't go insane. So what your brain does when it sees the letter A, a handwritten, it will fire the connection, but it will look for the similarities with the original connection. And then it will ditch the differences and focus on the similarities. Now the same happens with our experience. When we go through childhood experience, whatever, good or bad experience, we create neural connections. So in the case of my client's husband, he went through a lot of situations when he didn't feel good enough. That created a lot of neural connection in his mind, which means he's much more likely in his current life as an adult to look for this kind of situations, to create those kind of stories, because it's wired in his brain. He's experienced this enough, so the brain will look for similarities. And the brain will try to create meaning out of situations that have nothing to do with it, such as you want to go out for dinner, because the brain is looking for similarities because of the neuroplasticity.